What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're going to be building out our views. In the previous video, we got our controllers all looking nice. We've built out all the URLs. Remember that controllers are literally just the pieces of code that builds out our, U our URLs and the views are just our web page. Like we, we have this and we have the routes for our clubs set up. So we'll go club, we have this kind of ugly hello index, but we're going to make this look a little bit better. We're going to make our club look a little bit better and we're gonna make our races page look a little bit better. And the way that we're going to do that is we're simply going to just toss in some uh, bootstrap, literally just copy and paste bootstrap. And the way that I do it is I just go to bootstrap, like I, t I just type in bootstrap examples and I go to the examples page and I just start pulling and grabbing out of here everything that I need. And another good piece of advice is that uh, Bootstrap pr premium themes are only like $30, $40. And those things are, some of those premium Bootstrap themes come with all types of crazy grids, e-commerce boot uh, kits. And these things can make your app look absolutely awesome. So I'm not going to uh, use premium bootstrap theme in this, but I highly recommend it. So if, um, but anyway, back to the point, we are going to go to the, view the source and we're just going to copy this jumbotron in here. We're gonna see if this jumbotron looks good. And if it doesn't, we just won't use it, but uh, I'm hoping it does look good. So go in here. See what this jumbotron looks like, and let's turn on hot reloading so that it will automatically load. Let's see, yep, and we've got a awesome little. Let's see here, we've got an awesome little jumbotron, so that'll make that look a little bit better. And let's go ahead and change the name a little bit. So we'll go run groups, and let's see. And yep, that looks great. So now we need to go in here and we need to get a card. So not only do we want a Jumbotron, we also kind of want some nice little cards to work off of as well too, because we're going to be going in later and adding a geolocation. So when the user shows up, it will geolocate where, uh, where you are and show some running clubs that are near you. So we're gonna go here and I think we just need three. So we'll just get three of these and p paste them in here. And we gotta close out a couple divs. And I think that should do it. Great. So now we have some nice little cards that we can work off of. And we also have some good buttons to hook up whenever we get the login and the register looking good as well too. So off to a really good start. We've already got um, our, our web page set up. Now we need to go and we're going to give these so now we're going to go in and do this for our races page and our clubs page as well too. And it's really not going to be any different. Literally just go back to your um, page right here and we're gonna go all the way down and we're just gonna uh, put this div in there. So going back and see here. It's not gonna be pretty right now, but we will go back and we will make it look a little bit better. I'm just showing you like a very realistic scenario for when you're actually building something. Like a lot of times this isn't exactly pretty and you just kind of need to get it done. So we're gonna go into here, we've got club. And we've got our club set up. 
So we're, we have to wait till we get identity set up before we can do like the actual homepage. We're gonna just wait till we get identity set up for the actual homepage. But for right now, we could go in here and create, do the uh, controller logic in order to get the data back for these right here. And this is a very realistic way that you would do, you would probably do this. Like I'm building this like, I would actually build this in real life. I'm not, you know, I'm kind of like, this is literally just kind of like a code along. So my theory is that whenever you're looking at a web page and you're thinking, um, you know, what are you trying to do next? My way of doing it is that I go to the actual page and then I'm going to see, okay, so I need to get club back and I also want just this data like I need a title here and we're going to need images as well and we're going to need all of these things but for right now you know let's just work on getting the actual user like the users back just take it one step at a time so let's go into our club controller and here we're going to bring in our let's see we just have to bring in CTOR. Then we're going to bring in app db context or whatever we named our actual app. Let me see here. What did I name it? I named it application db context. Also, a quick little tip here: this little back button is a great, is a very useful thing. Whenever you just need to go back, what I did there was I just hit that. Uh, back button just like that so it's application db context application db context and we're just going to call this context okay so we bring that in then going to inject it fancy word for we're going to bring in this application db context from another part of our program so we're going to call this underscore context just for naming convention. And then we're going to go in here and we're going to return our club. So context clubs dot to list. And we could probably bring in some other data as well too, or we could you know manipulate this, but right now for right now, we're just keeping it simple. So here's exactly what happened. If you didn't like if you don't if you have no idea what's going on this is our database so if I right click on this and I go to definition it's going to this is what is controlling remember we created this. this is what's controlling the actual access to our database so that's exactly how we're manipulating databases and whenever you see clubs or whenever you see context just think of this as going to the database literally whenever just forget about this term right here and whenever you see that just imagine like it's bringing a whole table back from the database and just like dropping it into your program it's just like okay man like what here's what you want like i don't know what you want with this but this is you know what i'm giving you and to list to list is important because there's something we're getting okay this is we're getting into the weeds here. There's something called deferred execution. So the reason why we have this to list is because you need to call this in order for it to actually execute the SQL. So here is just a um, kind of like a very rough way. So it's going to the dit like all of these queries are being built and whenever you see this to list it's literally going to build the whole query it's going to send it to the database and then that's when it's going to bring it back and it's going to give you the clubs and that's going to drop you drop off your clubs and then your clubs are going to go into the view so let me just break it down one more time it's just a very high level view so right here the controller you're coming in it's giving you the model and then it's returning the view to you. So you're going to get the model and then it's returning the view, MVC or, C -V or CMV. If you can just remember that. So this is C, this is M, 
this is V. And you just learned MVC. Yay. See, it wasn't really that hard. And so we're returning it. So now we've dropped our model off into our view. Now we need to go back to the actual view and we need to um, make it so that our view can actually see the data. So now we've brought back the data. What we need to do is we need to bring in our model. And the way that you actually attach the model to the view is you go I enumerable and we bring in club and that is pretty much it that should work so because club is there's more than one like I said there's a list being returned so if we went back and we went back to our controller you need to be cognizant if you're just bringing back one club you don't have to have this I enumerable but if you're bringing back one more than one if you're bringing back a whole entire list you can ho hover over this and you can see that it's returning a list so this is actually this just remember like just be very very worrisome about what you're returning from the controller or else you're going to return stuff and not even know what you're returning and you're going to run into like a bunch of problems. So we're going to go back and we're going to build it. We're going to put in a for each and I'm trying to think. Okay. So here's where we're going to want to do the for each. So we're going to go for each var item in model and that's how we're going to return the model and we are going to take this put it into here and take we can just delete all of these other boxes as well hopefully all right so we deleted that and we need to delete this one as well too so basically we don't need all of those little boxes anymore because our for loop is going to make all those boxes for us. And we're going to go ahead and run it. Make sure we're getting it back. Yay, it worked. Okay, so now here's the cool part. Here's where you get to see your actual data spring to life. So we're going to go into here. And we're going to go item.title. We're going to go. We'll use that to go to our detail. And let's just see if we can just put another text down here so we'll give this one item dot description and we'll give this one item dot category something up oh. so we'll go club and we've got um, our running clubs look at that okay so now it would probably be a good idea to have um, let me see here and it, some real images so we'll go here we'll take out this and we will put um, source is equal to at item dot image and we'll give this a width is equal to 100 percent and the height is equal to two to five great
So go over here. Would you look at that? Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so now let's go ahead in here and let's give it links so that our um, so that it's easier to navigate. I'm just gonna go ahead in here and copy and paste these links. I've got these links. Um, and you can, so we've got our, we've got, we want to go into our layout because the layout is where our actual um, links are at. So go in here and actually we can just copy these and we can remove the privacy. So we can go in here and the controller is going to be our club controller and it's going to be club. And then we're gonna go to the races controller and it's going to be race, races. And something's not working. So club. Oh, here we go. Index is going to be race. So once again, go in here. Please work. I've almost had it with computers today. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Lord. Okay, sweet. So now we've got just one more, our video. We're probably at 20 minutes, so we'll just go ahead and we'll just slam this thing out. We've already built this one, so this one will be really easy to do. So we'll literally just go into here. We'll drag. Okay, so we'll literally, um, we're just going to go into the CTOR application DB context. We're going to go context. So bring that in. Bring in our field. Change this to context. I just think it looks better, but you don't really even have to. And we're going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to go list, and it's going to be race, and our races, and then context dot races dot to list. Great, and then we can just copy over our instance from our club and just literally copy and paste that over. Great, and this one race, and this will be race category. And it should be almost the same. Like we probably shouldn't even have to change it either. Awesome. We've literally just built all of that out. We've got our list ready to go. We are rocking and rolling. We are making great progress. Anyway, that's going to be the video for views. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.